people. Good morning, America. It's LaCosta, and as you see, I'm in the car. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, I would like to say welcome. If you are returning, I would like to say thanks, bro. If you all hear that tapping noise, it is raining. I am headed to uh, my counseling session. It is at 11 o'clock a.m. It is 10.09, so I'm doing good timing. But it's over by my old job. So, well, not my old job, but my old location of my job. And it takes a good little minute to get over on that side of town. But people should be at work. I'm on vacation this week. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, I am on vacation this week and it's a big old truck that just passed by. And yesterday I had a whole bunch of work to do. Today I still got a whole bunch of work to do. Tomorrow and Thursday we are rolling with the home. Well, I'm rolling with the homies. Um, me and my two favorite guys, Jerry and Ken, uh, we are going to visit my dad in Mississippi. So uh, it's about a four and a half hour drive. So we're leaving out early in the morning. <laughs> we're gonna leave out about 4 a.m. So we can get there and kind of have breakfast with him and sit down, chit chat, go shopping and um, kind of hang out with some more of my family people and then do some family activities for ourselves as well. So. I forgot this piece was hanging from this bracelet, but oh well. Um, I hope y'all are doing great. Uh, I know it's been a few weeks since you guys last heard from me. You guys and gals heard from me. Uh, I just posted a, oh, quite a bit of people at the church. I just posted a vlog, uh, a Sunday vlog. So hopefully you have checked that video out. And then this one. Um, as I explained in my last video, I have been focusing on my new channel I have, uh, which is called Lady Guest and Plans. So if you're into decorative planning, uh, productivity on how to stay organized, creating, uh, crafting, things like that, that's what that channel is for. I used to do those type of videos here on this channel but I wanted to branch that out because I was getting more into my creative side. So this channel here is only for lifestyle vlogs and I'm going to add some fashion um, in there, which I do have a fashion haul <laughs> that I need to do for y'all. I got some things from Shein, so I need to do that video. And um, I'm just, I'm revamping this lifestyle channel if that makes any sense so they're gonna you're gonna start seeing some new things in the second quarter of this year which starts April 1st so um, yeah I'm excited about the new change I hope you will stay tuned to this channel and here comes a train track I had to go over uh, <laughs> I hope you will stay with me on this journey and try to improve this channel to give you more, more of lifestyle content and things that I do um, in my life besides just always planning and crafting and stuff like that. But if you would love to see that type of stuff, you are more than welcome to join. Um, go over to that channel and subscribe to it i will put that page that channel information in the description of this particular video but enough of that i hope y'all are doing well um a lot has been going on in my life i am still in school this semester seems like it's the longest semester of my entire life <laughs> but i did just finish out of one class it was my methods and materials for teaching class. Y'all, I absolutely loved that class. That class was so much fun. I learned so much in there. The teacher made it professional and, ah, and everything. She just made it. She made you want to come to class. 
you know, you always got some classes that you be like, nah, let me skip you today. No, she made you want to come to class. At least that's what I gathered from it. So that was a mini term class. So that class ended at the beginning of this month. And now we are, um, my other classes, I'm still continuing, but I, that was that one class that I only had as a mini term class. So, but other than that, school is going great. Um, let's see, Jerry and Ken are still alive. Um, I'm still alive, personally. Let's see, um, that's pretty much it. Nothing nothing too out of the norm uh i am working on some things on the back end for my personal lifestyle and everything so when time comes of course you know i will share that information with you all oh i have gotten back into my jewelry business uh i if you don't know if you're new to my channel i've mentioned this a couple of times i am an independent paparazzi jewelry consultant and I do have a website where you can shop for uh, $5 jewelry all of our pieces are $5 except for our Z collection look at me doing the shameless pull, shameless pull. the Z collection are our exclusive pieces and those pieces are $25 but if that's not in your budget to buy you are more than welcome to buy um, the $5 jewelry it is uh, lead and nickel free so you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm going to break out from that. No, you won't. <laughs> you know, people be like, oh, I can't wear that type of jewelry because that's cheap jewelry and I got sensitive skin and I'm going to break out. I have sensitive skin as well. It may be different levels of sensitive, um, sensitivity, but I have sensitive skin as well. I guess like, I don't break out from it. Y'all, this rain is picking up out here. So, um, yeah, I will also leave my website to my jewelry <laughs> website down in the description of this video. So, I have started back um, with my monthly lives on in my Facebook page on Facebook for my jewelry business. So, that's one thing that is back in my rotation. Still doing great on my Etsy sales. Woohoo! Um, let's see. What else is going on in my life? Um, not much. Oh, yeah. I went, Jerry and I went Friday, which was March the 11th, to see PJ Morton. He was here in town in Birmingham. Y'all, I love me some PJ Morton. I'm going to uh, insert some little snippets from the concert. Of course, I can't play the music because, you know, I don't want to get copyright or anything. So, but y'all, we had great seats. Uh, the location that they had it in was standing room only. Uh, Jerry said, that would be a no. We were right on upstairs on a comfortable bench. The only thing that was uncomfortable for me was that it was so cold up there because the vents for the air was up there the people downstairs i'm sure were hot because everybody was by each other you know body heat builds up in an um room or whatever i would i kind of wish some of that body heat was coming upstairs but overall y'all great concert i'm a huge pj Morin fan like seriously i love his music and i love his dad music if you don't know who his dad is shame on you but his dad is Bishop Paul, <laughs> Bishop Paul Morton, uh, and they are originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. So Bishop Paul is gospel, of course, and PJ, I put PJ more so in the Neo Soul R&B uh, categories. Love his music, love his music. So that was an awesome time. And Jerry is a PJ Morton fan as well. So awesome time to spend quality time with each other. Like seriously, it was like so much fun. So yeah, uh, let's see, I am nine minutes into this intro right now. I'm coming up to Dunkin' Donuts. I did want to stop and get me um, my iced coffee. So I'm gonna stop and get that. Y'all, this rain is really coming down. I don't like driving when it's raining, but the forecast did say it was going to be 100% chance of rain today, 
but I thought that was going to start later on today. But anyway, um, I'm coming up on Duncan, so I'm going to pull out my other phone and place my mobile order so they can go on and have it ready. And yeah, that's all. So just pretty much catching y'all up on what your girl been doing uh, <laughs> for the last few weeks. And I, again, I do apologize about me not being active those couple of weeks here on my channel. I was focusing on building my other channel, but I do remember that when I started this particular channel, it took it a minute to grow and it's still growing and everything. So I just have to be patient and stick with my guideline of how I want to do things uh, for both of my channels. And hey, the people will come, the views will come and everything. So I do enjoy uh, creating content for you guys on this channel as well as my other channel. So it's, it's something fun that I enjoy doing. So let me place my coffee order and I'll catch you in the next clip. Peace out. Costa, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Well, I appreciate her having um, <laughs> that part ready. Yeah, I switched up something in my drink and I'll tell you about it in a minute. Thank you. You too. All right, y'all. So, I'm sick of this man driving like he on dang on NASCAR and it's raining out here. Slow your monkey tail down. It ain't that doggone serious. Anywho, so I always get an original blend iced coffee from, um, whoop, pulled out in front of that car, my bad. Um, <laughs> I, um, get the original blend iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. I get it with three swirls of caramel, um, uh, two pumps of liquid cane, sugar, and this time, instead of me getting regular cream, I got um, oat milk. Because I've been hearing good things about oat milk. So, let's try it. Let me 
fix my camera. So let's try it. I hope it's good. Okay. It is actually not that bad, y'all. It gives it a more creamier taste, and I like that. This is good. Yeah, that's good. So it's a medium ice original coffee, three caramel swirls with an extra one. So I got four. Two liquid cane sugar and oat milk. So yeah. And Big Girl got two donuts. <laughs> so I'm about to turn on my heat because it's a little chilly out here with this rain. It really is. So I'm about to drive on because this rain is getting a little serious, y'all. So I want to focus and everything on my drive to counseling. So catch y'all in the next clip. <laughs> Bye. my therapy appointment counseling appointments because I like my counselor so I'll talk to y'all in a minute bye Caucasian white female um <laughs> what I said Caucasian white they that the same thing <laughs> anyway I have a Caucasian female uh therapist and y'all when I tell you she does not discriminate because of race color or anything and she just gives it to me straightforward and that's what I need sometimes I don't need someone that's going to completely understand where I'm coming from I need a person that is going to think the opposite of how I think because sometimes that's how I am with other people. So she gives it to me straightforward. I mean, she don't sugarcoat nothing, honey. Y'all, that appointment was so, so needed. I enjoy coming to um, her office. I mean, when I can't come, we do um, have telehealth. Uh, sessions which are sessions that's done virtually so but when I get the opportunity to come you best to believe your girl is coming I'm coming to this counseling appointment and look a lot of people go against mental health and seeing a therapist a counselor or whatever don't I work in the field so I see the importance of it and with me working in the field and doing it personally, excuse me, two totally different standpoints, but I'm glad I do it personally for myself. I am not crazy. 
I am not about to jump off a building or anything. I just go and talk to her and just need some real, someone real that's going to listen, pay attention to what I'm saying and give me other standpoints of that particular situation. Today's session, baby, let me tell you something. I'm walking up out of that baby feeling like a whole new person and it was so, so worth it. And she told me, because the system that she works under, we now have it for my company, uh, what my job that I work at. And she was telling me some little background curves to kind of make the system work for you or whatever. And when she told me the date of when I started coming to her, I said, girl, I've been with you for a good little bit. And she said, yeah, you're one of my regulars and I appreciate that. I said, oh, you ain't going nowhere no time soon, honey, unless... The Lord calls me home and say, my child, it's time to come with me. <laughs> so, <sighs> I feel motivated. I feel encouraged. And strangely, the discussion that we were having um, in my session, I got a phone call. And I checked my voicemail when I got back in the car. And it was like, okay, God, I hear you. I, I see what you're doing. I, I see it. So that that just, it keep on giving me that confirmation stamp. And she said, I don't know what else you're looking for, LaCosta. Everything is right there in your hand. So all you got to do now is take action for it. So I said, yes, ma'am. So, whoop, I'm excited. Y'all, I'm so excited, so excited, so excited. So I'm about to head to... Hoover, I gotta make two stops. <clears throat> it is still raining. So these stops are now gonna be very long and then I'm going to head home and complete my duties for today. I put some pinto beans on this morning. So I'm doing pinto beans, boiled okra, fried chicken, and cornbread for um, dinner this evening. So my pinto beans will cook. So when Jerry gets home, he can have a nice, hot, fresh meal. I really don't like frying chicken because, you know, that odor. Y'all, I don't know what it is about when you fry chicken. That odor just lingers and lingers and lingers. So, I'm going to put on me some cinnamon water. My mother-in-law uh, told me this. Get uh, either a cinnamon stick or put some cinnamon, ground cinnamon, in some water and put it on your stove and boil it. And that'll trap in some um some of the strong cooking odors that you don't want to linger in your house i've tried i tried it one time when i fixed some salmon croquette patties and it did work it that fishy smell did not linger in my house so i'm going to try that with the fried chicken today if you know of any other way that i can um that i can do <laughs> so strong cooking odors like that won't linger in the house leave it down there in the comment section and let your girl know because i'm willing to try anything i just don't like that grease and fried chicken smell then it gets in your clothes and in your hair oh they get on my nerves so let me know if you know of anything else that i can do besides the cinnamon water so all right i'm about to pull off it is lunchtime now but i'm actually full i did me a smoothie this morning for breakfast it was a mixed berry smoothie i had mixed berry uh a half a cup no it was actually a whole cup a whole cup of spinach leaves baby spinach leaves and um one scoop it was a teaspoon of peanut butter and three tablespoons of vanilla yogurt and of course my um ice drink black bear ice drink that i uh, put in there so that was my breakfast this morning it kind of held me over and then i ate the donut from um duncan and i'm drinking my coffee y'all this oat milk is really good so i'm thinking i may switch to oat milk um especially for my creamer for my cream for my coffee such a smooth taste so I'm, I'm comfortable right now. I'm not starving, starving, 
but I, I am comfortable right now while I just can pass all these restaurants and get home and fix me like a little turkey sandwich or something on wheat bread. But anyway, all right, finna concentrate because like I say, it's still raining. Oh, I gotta deal with this all day. So this gonna make me wanna go on home. So let me make my two stops in Hoover and I catch y'all later. Bye for now. Instead of two, I actually made um, three stops. <laughs> I went by um, this store called Pop Shelf. I've heard a lot of things about the store, so um, I just want to check it out. It is technically like a Dollar General and a Five Below put together. It really is. So... Um, I got me a couple of things out of there and I'll show you guys that when I get home then well make four stops I stopped by chick-fil-a and I got me some grilled chicken nuggets to go with my salad that I'm about to go home and fix for lunch um yeah I'm not going that way <laughs> so I'm gonna eat me some grilled chicken nuggets from chick-fil-a and me a small salad and then let's see after pop chef chick-fil-a oh um jerry sent me a screenshot that bath and body works had the car fresheners refills on sale for a dollar 95 cent so i went by there and picked me up a couple of them as well as the holder and i picked me up two candles you know you cannot go into bath and body works and not purchase a candle so pick me up two candles and then I just left out of Publix to grab some leg quarters. Instead of frying chicken, I'm going to bake the chicken. So we're going to have baked chicken instead of fried chicken. But still leave down there in the comments um, if you all know any type of home remedy to get that frying smell out your house from lingering on and on and on. So yeah, I'm about to head home, kind of um, unload the car. Y'all, I got this cute Easter sign from, excuse me, from uh, Pop Shelf. And it is so, so cute. And I'm going to put that up when, of course, Easter gets here. Um, I'll probably put it up the first weekend in May, which is, April, I mean, not May, April, which is April 2nd. So, uh, April, uh, Easter is April 17th, I think. So, yeah, I put it up at the beginning of April. So, but it was $15, and it's a nice size sign. You know, normally those type of wooden signs, they run like $40 or more, depending on where you go. A lot of people go to Hobby Lobby to get those type of signs. But, baby, if I can find them on a, at a discounted price anywhere besides Hobby Lobby, I'm gonna grab it. So I'm about to fly like the wind bulls at home because it is now 2:42. Whoo! You know, time goes by very fast when you have things to do. So I'm gonna go home, work on some uh, media stuff that I got to create for two churches. So work on that in the midst of cooking and getting the house in order. Okay. Why would you put your signal on? FYI, if you're driving, give the person behind you the uh, respect of if you're coming up on your turn to put your signal on in advance so 
the person behind you will not have to slam on their brakes like I almost just did. This person in front of me literally came up on their turn and decided to put on their signal at the very last minute. Don't do that, y'all. Please be courteous. Please be courteous because if you don't like anybody, and this is anything in life, if you don't like anybody doing anything to you, guess what? Don't do it to them. Common courtesy. So, all right. I'm headed home. Bye for now. Okay, y'all. I'm finally at home, and I hope y'all can see this right because I kind of got my tripod propped up on something and it's looking a little cricket. See what I mean? And yeah, those are my neighbor dogs that you hear in the background. So, I'm about to show y'all what I picked out from Pop Shelf as well as Bath and Body Works. That sign right there, <laughs> yeah, that's one of the items that I picked up. It is my Easter um, let's say it's Easter is on its way sign. I will prop up a picture because y'all, it's, it's actually a nice size uh, sign and everything. So, but I'll put up a picture either. I think I'm gonna put it right here. So y'all can see um, how the sign actually looks. So, and that was only $15. So you can't beat that. Now, um, the other items that I picked up, and then they gave me this cute little shopping bag. It is self-checked. Well, the location I went to is self-checked. I don't know if you all have. If it's one in your area, don't know if you have that there, but it is self-checkout. So, uh, I picked up this headband right here. It is plush and soft touch. So, I've been wanting me one of these. So, when I get into the shower, you know, I can kind of pull this part back or whatever so yeah i picked that up grabbed that that was only three dollars the sign was fifteen dollars i ended up spending 30 bucks that includes tax but i think i got some great items so i got this and i picked up me a new um vanity mirror here um what I'm trying to do is a double face cosmetic mirror. That's what it is. So, yeah. And it's, you know, I got one side that you can see real close. <laughs> and then one side you can see regularly. So, it's cute. It's, it's very cute. I like that. So, that was $3 also. Yeah, I know I love a candle. And I just told you that I picked up two candles at Bath and Body Works. So, this one is called Emerald Coast. This is a, it has the smell of juicy pineapple, tart lemon, and fresh citrus. It is a seven ounce candle, and this was $3 as well. So, I'm going to put this in my bathroom. This has a very fresh scent to it, and it's not really strong. So, I'm going to put this in my bathroom. As a matter of fact, when I get off here, I'm going to go do it. So, um, yeah, I love to carry this around in my purse so sometimes you just don't want to miss fragrances and my bath and body works lotion don't always blend with my perfume that i have on so i carry this around in my purse as uh, some hand lotion or whenever i feel that my elbows are super dry and ashy <laughs> i put this on it and if somebody asks me if i have any any lotion I'd rather give them this than to give them Bath and Body Works because everybody doesn't like a sweet or fruity type scent on them. So yeah, this was a dollar. Dollar Dollar Tree Plus sells this as well, but the one that's by my house, they have been out for quite a bit. And when I found this at Pop Chef, I was very pleased. But guess what? This was the only one in there. They had the regular kind, but I really, really like this one. So, yeah, got that. And, y'all, I have some loose leaf, loose leaf tea leaves. And the pot that, the acrylic pot that I had purchased from Amazon with the diffuser in it cracked. And I never got a chance to replace it or anything. So, when I saw this in their section, 
I had to grab it. Like, really, I did. So you put your loose leaf on your loose tea leaves in this and you clamp it down and you can put it in your hot water and your tea will diffuse in there. So yeah, I had to get it. This was only $3. So you really can't beat this at that price. So I was very pleased when I saw this. So now I can uh, use my um, loose tea leaves and everything. So that's what I picked up from Pop Chef. Now let me show you what I picked up from Bath and Body Works. Put my planner to the side. Y'all hear that loud train coming. All right, so they had the car refills, car fragrance refills for on sale for $1.95. And I picked up three of those, which I have two here. So now I have five. And actually, when I picked up those two that time, they were $1.95. Also, because me and some church friends, we went and loaded up, honey. So, uh, and I have been saying that I needed me a new fragrance holder anyway. So this was the perfect time. So I got the Waikiki Beach Coconut and the Fresh Coconut and, and Cotton. This one smells really, really good. Really good. Like for real. And I got the Endless Weekend. This smells good too. I like this fragrance. Um... I use that in my car. So, um, I picked up two car holders. Since my car is tan on the inside and I like bling, I wanted colors to kind of um, match the inside of my car. I'm just crazy like that. So, I picked up this one, which is really, really cute. It has that ir iridescence kind of look to it and everything so i like this one with like the flower petals so this one connects to your vent on the back and then i picked up this one had to get something with a bling light and i think i'm going to go on and put this one in the car because this one is closer to the car color then i just keep this in my glove box or my um armrest when i want to switch out but this one you can either, and the lady was showing me in there, you can either pull, I'm not going to break a nail, you can either pull this handle and connect it to uh, your visor, or you can pull up, I'm not going to break a nail, you, <laughs> you can pull up that part to uh, put it in your vent. So I um, grabbed those. This one was eight fifty, and okay, both of them were eight fifty. Both of them were eight fifty. So I got those, and I picked up me some pocket size um, hand sanitizer, which I have one in my purse right now. But y'all, I honestly keep so much stuff in my purse. Sometimes I be rambling, trying to look for it like two to three minutes long, and I'm tired of doing that. So, I, but I picked up me some more, and I picked up this cute little rose gold um pocket size holder um for your hand sanitizer so just slide it in there and i'm gonna put this on the um corner part of my purse okay i can't do that right now but yeah this would be my sanitizer and i can switch the fragrances out and everything and my booze, my candles. And what fragrance did I get? Ha <laughs> ha! Champagne toast. Yeah, I absolutely love this fragrance. I have one at work, and I just burned my very large one that I had um in my bedroom. No, not in my bedroom, in my office. So yeah, I have some more. And you know what? <laughs> that I'm looking at it. My TV stand, it has the open windows on the doors. I, I'm looking at it and I still have a half one left um, here of the large one. I bought the single wick size because these were on sale for $8. Um, yeah, they were on sale because the regular price is $15.50. The large one was not on sale and your girl was not going to pay 
me stop all that rambling because that's real. Your girl was not finna pay twenty six fifty uh, for a candle. Not today. When they have those large candles on sale, then I will just go and rack up me some more. Or I will order them online and have them shipped here. I'm real cautious about that because FedEx, UPS, USPS, they, they really don't handle your packages correctly. And I'm just afraid that if I order candles and one of my candle holders break, I'm not going to be mad at the company. I'm going to be mad at the delivery system because y'all, they really should take better care of the customer items that they are delivering. Especially if they have that sticker on there that says handle with care, fragile, hint, hint, clue, clue, duh. So yeah. But anyway, that's what I picked up <laughs> today from Pop Shelf as well as Bath and Body Works. And then, of course, I picked up uh, some lead quarters at Publix. Excuse me, because I'm going to bake my lead quarters. So, I'm about to eat my lunch. And it is 2.25. And I'm about to eat lunch. Uh, my beans are done. I came in and I checked them. My beans are done. So, yeah. I think I'm going to go on and end the vlog right here. Um, and I just put in some little clips after this of dinner and everything and me prepping the dinner or whatever but yeah thank y'all so very much for catching this vlog i'm kind of excited to be back in the groove of things of vlogging on my lifestyle channel i honestly have missed you all because it's almost like a family over here on this side i enjoy chatting with y'all in the comment section and everything so yeah, your girl is back and I'm going to try my best to be more consistent on this channel. So, thank y'all for watching again. Give me a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section what you thought of this vlog and everything. And if you liked it, that's where you get a thumbs up um, at, on this video. And I would really appreciate for the, for the thumbs up because that helps you to circulate my content around so there can be other people viewing my vlogs as well so please you guys give me a thumbs up i appreciate that and also if you have not subscribed to my channel i need you to hit that red subscribe button as well as that little bell notification right next to it so not only will you be notified when new videos such as this one have been uploaded but guess what you'll become a part of the real crew hey real crew hey <laughs> okay let me stop can you tell i'm excited to be back yep your girl is back so all right y'all until next time smooches